Hey, thanks for watching my next combat video guide for 10 HP irons. And in this one, it is killing Sourhog for a poor sign of interest. Now, a poor sign of interest rewards 1000 Slayer XP as well as 30 Slayer reward points. So it's pretty cool to get as well as the reinforced goggles that you get for this quest so that you don't get slapped with 30. You'll need those on when fighting Sourhog. But at the end of the day, the weird thing for one Slayer Prods is that you can't get back these reinforced goggles. So if you are, for some reason, a weird build like me, just make sure if you care about them that you store them safely or just keep them in your inventory. But you're going to need your standard full range accuracy gear for Poison Dynamite being effective. Sourhog's defense is only 25, so it's not that big of a deal, but... Every little bit helps. I'm actually running low here. I don't have my glory yet, so I'm using a power of amulet, but I'm also setting up my inventory, which you wouldn't do as a hardcore regular iron this way, but I think it's endearing to show a little bit of the process for setting up a boss encounter for my account because some might just consider it tedious, but I do think it's enjoyable to have the focus that's required and... I don't know, there's something about the strategy behind UIM. And this spot I think is good because when you die, you spawn in Lumbridge and you can go back to your stuff and you're near the Sourhog entrance as well as the potato field if you wanted to fill up a sack of potatoes so that you can get from 6 HP to 7 HP because Sourhog does hit a max hit of 6. So you'll want to have something to just get a little bit above it if you don't want to waste chocolate cakes. And after I get everything that I pretty much need, I just get all of my chocolate cakes in RD. And this is just, again, showing what it takes to get a full setup, not including the time spent on the Poison Dynamite. And reality-wise, I think I've used a lot of Poison Dynamite throughout all of these videos, and you don't really see that part because, again, Poison Dynamite can splash, even with 90 fire making and the max range accuracy gear. So I climb over this little spot and I wait 10 minutes for the Diagro for Sourhog so that I can use the Poison Dynamite without getting clapped to lure Sourhog into position. And the tiles for Sourhog are kind of strange, so just keep that in mind. But once you've lured Sourhog into position, it's fairly easy to step out and step back in and have full control over your hit points in this encounter. And you'll need that if you're a hardcore because two sixes could be very fatal. And if you have bad ping or something like that, I would heavily recommend taking your time on this. Again, it's not that difficult of an encounter. You don't have to use Guthic's Rest or anything more than basically two recoils. I brought three with me, but Sour Hog's HP is 40, so you shouldn't need more than two recoils, to be honest. But yeah, it's a fairly simple fight, and I'm using Chocolate Cakes for this one since they're so easy to get from Ard Ardy. And you don't even need a knife with you because there's a bronze scimitar south of here that you can use to cut the foot off. And so as we slow down the speed to the more regular pace, you can see that it's not that difficult to handle the fight and take the time you need from the ranged attacks. But again, it is ranged, so it can be a little bit uncomfortable. And the hits can be pretty high, which if you're going to panic or something could cause problems with misclicks. But... Again, fairly easy, and you can turn in Sarhawk's foot to Sarah without actually completing the full quest. So that's what I did just because I wanted to have it completely done in case I ever, for some reason, decided I want to get Slayer. At the moment, I'm not really interested in getting any Slayer levels. It doesn't help me that much. It kind of feels like a total level crutch, and at the end of the day, it's just not something that I'm interested in leveling unless there's like a solid method, at least with fun weapons. Like there was for a moment before they were patched. And yeah, fairly easy fight. Nothing to think about there. Nice benefits. And there's not much more to say about it. But hopefully this was helpful for you. And I guess I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.